Hi, we are using this Land Rover Freelander to show how to fix the error codes 8E related with the lack of power on high RPM due to the failure of the needle lift sensor, located on injector number 1. Here are the tools you will need for this job, as well as a dynamometric torque wrench, a brush kit to clean the injector housing, and also a multimeter. After checking the symptoms, first thing to do is to connect the diagnostic machine to check for error codes. The diagnostic plug is located on the passenger side under the glove box onto the center of the car. In our case it showed error code 8 e that indicates a malfunction on the lift sensor, or that the ECU is not receiving any signal. So, what to do next is to confirm that the problem is really the sensor, and not the wiring, for that just locate the brown plug near the diesel pump, disconnect it and check for resistance on the sensor. To make things a little easier I took both injectors new and old, and compared the values for reference, but you should check this in place first. I wired the new injector with black and red wires, and the old injector with blue and green wires, as you can check. The readings were, in the new one, it gives 134, 8 ohms, and for the old one the readings were none, meaning that we have a death lift sensor. This means that we have to put the new injector in, for that we also need a new washer that in this car is a specific one, do aware of that. We are gonna use 15 and 17 wrench to undo the feed diesel line onto the injector, same process to reassemble the new one. And for the feed line out the injector pump, we use the 17 wrench, as you can see in the image, we only need to free a little bit this one in order to allow the pipe to move on the other end to be able to free the injector. To undo the screw that holds the injector in place, we used a 10 mm socket with a 3 8 long extender and the dynamometric torque wrench. When assembling the new injector, this bolt is to be torqued to 25 Newton meter. Don't forget to use the brush kit to clean the injector housing before assembling the new one. Just put everything back together, as well as the engine cover that I didn't he mentioned before. Clear the error codes and start the car with the diagnostic machine plugged in. Go to parameter readings and check if the ECU is reading value for the lift sensor. If so, go for a test drive. If everything is okay, you are good to go. Hope you enjoyed, learned and fixed your car.